guess we're doing an everyday carry. No, but uh, yeah, we, 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 are, we actually are going to do uh, an everyday carry video. That's, that's what's happening in this video. I am completely devoid of creativity and ideas, so I'm going to do what everybody else does in January, you know? January Everyday Carry 2022 edition. This is what we do, right? We're YouTubers. We're just brilliant, creative minds coming up with the best site. We have platforms to say whatever we want. What do we say? Here's what we carry every day. I'm gonna do a little bit differently because I don't actually carry a whole bunch of stuff with me every day. Like who's carrying like 17 gadgets and knives with like your psycho? What are you carrying knives with you all day for? Like that's insane. Not the daggers. The daggers, all that crazy people stuff has to go. But I do understand the niche and the hobby of it all. I like collecting things because I like buying things. So I've put together a little kit here that's kind of like my retro vintage 80s everyday carry. Keep in mind, this isn't stuff that I actually carry every day. This is just stuff that I've bought, little hobby trinket stuff that I think you will also like. And I've partnered with a little company that makes some of this stuff too that I think you should check out. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But what I'm just gonna switch to like a flat lay top down classic EDC look. We'll walk through some of these little toys that I've put together for you today. So here we go, everyday carry. I said I wouldn't do it, and I'm here doing it. Switch angles, let's go. Okay, so this is my little everyday carry kind of vintage 80s aesthetic little kit that I've put together. I'm gonna start off with something I've already made a video about, and that's this Crayola Sport 35 millimeter camera. There's a whole video review that I have of this camera. This is probably one of the only point and shoot 35 millimeter cameras that I still even use. I've kind of fell out of flavor with film a little bit and I just sort of prefer digital. But when I do use a film camera, I like this one a lot. Obviously the aesthetics of it and the way it looks are a big reason for that, but it's also just a cool little fun cheap camera to bop around the city with. Now, speaking of bopping around the city, these are my favorite sunglasses to wear, obviously when I'm outside. They're by a company called Crap. I saw Jonah Hill post about this company on his Instagram and truly these are some of my favorite sunglasses I've probably ever owned. They're relatively inexpensive, they look great, they're made extremely well, and I'm just a huge fan. Sticking in the world of accessories, here is one of my favorite watches. Now, when I look for a watch, one of the things that I'm always kind of into is what's the story behind the watch. And one of the stories that I always try to tell myself, at least, is watches that I've found in movies. This is the watch that Denzel Washington wears in Man on Fire, but it's also the watch that Arnold Schwarzenegger wears in Kindergarten Cop. Now, they have the champagne dial version, which is a little bit more difficult to find, but I personally prefer the black one Anyways, but it's one of those watches where it's super vintage, retro. It's probably from like 1985, if not earlier. And I just like that it has a story. I also like that it has a digital timer as well as the analog time. It's just a very, very well-made watch. I didn't pay a whole lot of money for it, but if you can find one used, they are fantastic. I'm starting to realize there's maybe a little bit of a movie theme here, but this is the new R2-D2 Tamagotchi. So if you're someone who's into little trinkets that you can put on your keychains, this one is obviously a lot of fun. I believe it's a limited edition. I picked it up for my girlfriend, but I got an extra one just for me too. This is just a fun little toy to keep you occupied, you know, when you're killing time waiting for a coffee, a meeting, whatever, just taking a poop. Fun little game that isn't on your phone. I don't think any everyday carry is complete without a snack. I'm a big fan of these Popeye candy sticks. If you're unfamiliar with them, you've always been living in a rock since you've been born. They're basically just sticks of sugar that kind of look like cigarettes. I do not condone smoking. But as a kid, I used to play with these all the time, pretend I was in the movies, being, you know, whoever it is that smokes cigarettes in movies. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Popeye sticks, everybody knows these things. They're just a lot of fun, and they're kind of cool to have around. So one of the catalysts for this video was a company called Urban EDC Supply sent me some goodies, including this little flashlight. So this is the 4.7's Prion P2 Mark III. It's gonna give you about 210 lumens on battery power. And honestly, this is just a nice little flashlight you can clip in your bag. If you are a filmmaker or photographer, I think it's clutch to have a little flashlight with you because it's just so easy to lose things at night when you're out shooting in the dark. And having something like this with you that's nice and bright, simple and small is great. So links for all this kind of stuff from Urban EDC are in the description below. They also sent me this, which I thought was kind of fun. And I actually haven't opened it yet because I wanted to open it on camera. And basically what it is, it's a little copper pizza. So it's a little pizza coin that you can just kind of have as a trinket to play with. So we'll go ahead and open this little guy right here. It's obviously very well made. It's got a nice wax seal on it. And that's one thing I've noticed with Urban EDC is all their stuff is super, super high quality. All of the brands that they carry know exactly what they're doing. And I believe this is no exception. 
perfect. So we'll just slowly open that right there. Like all the stuff just came so well packaged and nice. Leave this things in here and we'll just slide it out. Look at that, a pizza coin. You guys know I'm a huge fan of pizza. So now I have something to commemorate my love for gluten and cheese. Gluten and melted cheese. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You've probably noticed this movie right here. This is an original sealed copy special edition of James Cameron's The Abyss on VHS. This is hands down one of my favorite movies of all time. Not only because the movie itself is so damn good, but if you ever go into the behind the scenes of this movie, you will feel like the most inferior creator of all time watching James Cameron make this movie. Given the time that it was made and the manpower and just all the craziness to shoot something underwater, it is absolutely fascinating that a brain came up with this concept and was able to also execute it. If you've not seen The Abyss, please add it to your watch later or add it to your list to check out ASAP. This is a filmmaker's just like dream movie to see what is actually capable if you put your mind to it and get the right people involved. Fantastic movie. I don't even want to open this one because it's just so near and dear to my heart as a filmmaker and as a movie lover. This is just special in my opinion. Okay, this is the one thing I've been the most excited to talk about in this entire everyday carry. This is my Sony Sports Mega Bass Walkman. This is a cassette AM FM tuner little Walkman player. What's special about these Walkman is that they're actually incredibly hard to find, particularly the sports models in good condition. They can go upwards of like $300, $400. I got this one for relatively inexpensive given the condition that it's in, but these things are built like absolute tanks. They are little gaskets for the headphones, the whole unit is even weather sealed. Just the engineering that went into something like this, you just don't really get this kind of craftsmanship anymore. And on top of that, it works. So this thing's a great FM AM tuner. You can play cassettes with it. It sounds absolutely fantastic. The fact that this thing sounds as good as it does, you would be like shockingly surprised. Anyone that I've put these headphones on has said, whoa, like I, they literally can't believe how good this thing still sounds. And given how crappy these little headphones look. I've been using these with my MacBook Pro. I love these headphones so much. The thing is, I just honestly really love cassettes. You might be familiar with this album by Huey Lewis in the News as made famous by another one of my favorite movies, which is American Psycho. You like Huey Lewis in the News? And so this is one of my favorite little cassettes to play on this little guy. It's just such a satisfying experience to put this thing in here, pop it in, lock it closed, and go ahead and press play. And hopefully there isn't sirens going off when you do it on your own because that's the kind of things that happen in a big city. But this thing is one of my favorite things that I've bought recently and it's part of this entire kit of things that just makes me happy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about anything in this sort of vintage 80s aesthetic everyday carry, please let me know. Don't forget, check out Urban EDC Supply Co. Link in the description. They got some really cool stuff and trinkets that you can get for your everyday carry too. But other than that, have a good one. Whoops, I just hit my camera. That's a good sign to end this video. Peace.